Auburn beats Georgia in the season finale of the SEC, conference finale at least. Wins by 14 uh, over the Bulldogs. And the first half, it looked smooth and good, and just everything was clicking. Second half, Auburn got a little slow and sloppy, and Georgia got scrappy. I don't, I don't know if that's the best word or not. And Georgia decided to extend the game, which – that's what you're supposed to do when, when you're down, you know, double digits. Auburn, you know, ultimately is still one, but they were playing the two for one game and the three for two game. And just Auburn could not get into a rhythm whatsoever the entire second half. First half, let me tell you how good things went. Not only did everybody score the, the 10 regulars, all 10 regulars had at least one assist. Auburn set a, a season high with, I think it was 27 assists they ended up with, at least by my stat sheets it was, throughout the game. That's a dangerous combination. They also, I think, set a season high on missed free throws. That's not a good combination. <laughs> uh, so not a good look there. Uh, unfortunately, Auburn did not cover the spread, so that hurt me a little bit, but that doesn't matter. What matters is the game itself. Georgia was trying their hardest to play to get out of the play-in round, if you want to call it that. I don't know what, what the first leg, okay? Georgia was trying their hardest. It did not happen. So now Georgia will be on the opening week, on the opening bracket line. Auburn does get the double by thanks to Kentucky uh, due to tiebreakers destroying, I'm sorry, they made Tennessee look vulnerable and one-dimensional again. Because of that, tiebreakers shift Auburn to the four seed. So that's where Auburn's going to open up. The You would assume the most likely opponent, and I hate saying that because this SEC tournament is going to just be, it's going to be a bare buckles, bare knuckles fist fight. But South Carolina's the five. So South Carolina had lost out of all the tiebreakers. Uh, and then Florida dropped to Vanderbilt today. So they dropped out of the running for the five-way tie for second place. So they dropped to the sixth seed. Okay, so there, that's where the focus is. SEC tournament starts on Wednesday. And... I mean, golly, you're gonna have quad one opportunities for everybody almost on from Thursday go forward. Wednesday's the play-in round or the first leg round, whatever you want to call it. The second round is on Thursday, and then the quarterfinals begin on Friday. That's where Auburn plays. Senior night, but the story of the night shooting-wise, at least, was Denver Jones. I think he had at least seven three-pointers. Uh, just lighting it up, let all scores. Jalen Williams, I think, had one three-pointer, and the rest were all highlight reel dunks. Janai got himself uh, 10 points, a lot at the free throw line, but he missed a lot of free throws. And then, you know, five assists and five and five rebounds. So just balanced performance there. Chad Baker-Mazar actually had a, a quiet night for Chad. Like, well, there's nothing quiet about Chad Baker-Mazar. All right. Sorry, bad, bad, bad use of word choice there because Chad runs his mouth 24-7. You just can tell he does. Uh, but as far as scoring goes, a quiet day for Chad scoring. KD had some points, but everybody scored, so it's good. Chris, my, goal, my goals for Chris Moore are always five points. Make him the new Lior. He had a three early, had an assist and a steal. Um, but but never really even took a shot after that point. Chaney Johnson, listen, we don't talk enough about Chaney Johnson and his value. He gets a lot of rebounds, and at one point he had three offensive rebounds and three assists directly from those offensive rebounds. That doesn't get enough credit, and I I, I know the assistant coaches see the value in Chaney, and I know. Bruce does, but I hope the average person viewing it sees the value of Cheney Johnson, especially in the back half of the season. All right. Georgia, like I said, they were playing to win. They gave in the second half, they got scrappy and was well doing whatever it took to, to make this thing go their favor to get out of the, the, the Wednesday brackets. Um, but luckily Auburn held on for the season sweep there and, and won by 14. All right. 
SEC tournament starts on Wednesday night. I'm going to try to cover every game of that entire tournament and so forth. One last thing before you hit the like and the follow back and hit, you hit the uh, comments as well. Later this evening, make sure you check out my website, coachingcrewshow.com. I'm releasing all of my SEC honors again for this year, and I hopefully will make some people happy. I'm sure I'll make some teams uh, mad at me and some schools mad at me because their their players did not get did not make the cut, but. It's what it is, and this is a great league this year. It really is. This is, you could argue, this is top two with the Big 12, and it's a big drop between two and three. You can argue who's one and two, and it can get probably subjective and objective, but there's no doubt who's top two. Big 12 and SEC, and SEC, we're going to have some good teams and the, the, the national tournament. And we could have a good chance of having second weekend well represented as well. Auburn wins going away, finishes the season tied with about a billion other teams in second place. We're sixth in the net. That's a that probably will stay right about there. So give me your thoughts on, on the Georgia game and going into the tournament itself. Comment, hit the follow back button. Uh, all that kind of good stuff, and then coachingcrewshow.com. Thanks for watching.